Hello friends, this is Manish and today I have another beautiful book for your review. What to say when you talk to yourself. Written by Shad Hemstetter and first published in 1986. So let me get straight into the main takeaways from this book that I think you should know and then you will be able to decide if you want to read this book or not. So the number one key takeaway was or is the secret sauce. We all know that it is our beliefs it is our thought process. It is the ideas, the culture, the environment. The things that we really believe in, that we have grown up with is responsible for what we achieve in life. If we amount to something or not, or how we are as a person. But how do we get the right kind of beliefs? the confidence, uh, the go-getter spirit. This is where this book comes in. It is the secret sauce to changing our belief systems so that we can achieve anything and everything in life. The second key takeaway is this book, the ideas shared in this book, this works. The best part is that the author has clearly laid out a granular plan on how to change your beliefs by taking control of our self-talk. I mean, at the very, the minutest level, if you think about it, how do we think? We think by saying the words in our minds. What are we doing when we say those words? We are talking to ourselves. And more often than not, because of the worries, the anxieties, and whatnot, that self-talk is negative. But when we pay attention to what the self-talk is and try and take control and change it to positive, the change is immediate. Instead of saying, oh my God, how will I do this? If I say, I should give it a shot, maybe I can. Or, I'm good at taking up challenges. I think I'll do a good job. Now, the outside situation may have not changed, but I am now better prepared to take on a challenge. And this affects us every day, every moment of our lives. And then one thing to another and how we are dealing with these outside influences is something that we, uh, awesome. that changes Amazing. our life. <laughs> or, or determines our life. The third uh, key takeaway uh, from this book is that don't think that this is not gonna uh, this, that this is not practical, and I'll tell you why. The brain, the third feature, the brain does not know. <laughs> 
So if you if if we are telling ourselves that we are having a bad day, that the, our mind, our brain believes it, and change that to even if we are having a bad day, change that to the day is going good. The mind will believe that instead of saying that I cannot lose weight. If we say. I think I'll be able to lose weight in the next three months, this much, these many pounds. The mind will believe that. And what is happening is that whatever the mind believes, it sets out to go get it. Unfortunately, a lot of what our mind or what we believe is negative and therefore it kind of piles on, it has a dominoes effect and you know, one bad thing leads to another bad thing and whatnot. And by taking control of this self-talk, we can use the same mechanism, the domino effect, one good thing leading to another good thing. So yeah, those were the three key takeaways from this book. I think the author is a fabulous person and I am so fortunate to have read this book. I certainly recommend it that you pick it up. So guys, that was my spiel for What to Say When You Talk to Yourself by Shad Hemstetter. I hope you liked the review. Please give this video a huge thumbs up and Yes, subscribe to my channel. <laughs> Until next time, happy reading.